So we are, we still probably are about half hour to an hour from the top. Let's see. Come up through there. I kind of want to put you through here. Wow, it's starting to open up. After nearly an hour of climbing, they reach 100 meters, or 328 feet. It's time for a preliminary measurement. I'm sending the tape down. I'll get the marker exactly at 100 meters. Confirm, if you will, the straightness and the perfectness of the tape. Does it look good? Drop meter at 3.17 meters. Drop it two more meters and we'll be perfect. the 100 meter tag. With the top in view, Steve pushes upward. Several feet from the top, the branches grow smaller and more fragile. Steve thinks twice about continuing. There is not a snowball's chance in hell I'm going to the other side of this spin the little crown. There's not any force in the universe to get me over there. But after a short rest, he reevaluates. Okay, I'm getting my nerve up again. Um, I'm going to start descending. And it pays off. This tree is 115.55. At 379.1 feet, Hyperion officially captures the title of the tallest living tree in the world. That's more than 70 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty and a foot taller than Chris and Michael's initial measurement. But that's not the only surprise. Here we are, we're well over 360 feet here and the leaves are expanded you know leaf expansion is driven by the amount of water pressure that builds up inside cells and at these great heights we would expect that it wouldn't have very much pressure left and so the leaves would be reduced the implication would be that this tree has a long ways it could go so the hunch of two naturalists paid off and now steve can begin to unravel the inner workings of the world's tallest tree i'm amazed i'm really amazed i never would have guessed i mean if you'd asked me to pick a spot on a map where there would be the world's tallest tree, I never would have put it here. I don't think anybody would have. And yet here it is. Here it is. This wonderful specimen, Hyperion. 